First at six o'clock, a former employee at Wedgwood Christian Services is headed to prison for taking advantage of vulnerable patients seeking help for their mental health. Before his sentencing today, Glenn Fisher addressed the court asking the judge for mercy. 13 on your side's Lauren Baker has details on what the prosecutor, defense, and Fisher himself had to say. Tense moments in a courtroom as a man learns his fate for what prosecutors say taking advantage of young girls. The defendant knew why those girls were there. That's what makes this case so egregious. A jury found Glenn Fisher guilty of numerous charges, including two counts of criminal sexual conduct. Prosecutors say while working at Wedgwood Christian Services, Fisher used items and the victim's vulnerabilities for his sexual desires. He exploited their vulnerability by being nice to them. We heard their testimony how the defendant gave them food and money and jewelry and weed and alcohol and energy pills. He helped them escape from Wedgwood and give them a ride north to Bay City. The defense disagreeing with the jury's verdict, saying he was a kind man. I can tell this court that Glenn is smart. He is kind. He has family that cares about him very much. He cares about his family very much. He is very much looking forward to rejoining them. Um, after his period of incarceration is over. The man himself also spoke, saying he's connected with his spirituality and believes in redemption and mercy. I've been able to be a, a blessing to people in jail the last two and a half years. My parents brought me up in Christ, and nobody's perfect, Your Honor. We all have bumps in the road, but I believe in redemption, and I believe in healing. But now he'll have to continue that journey behind bars for seven to 15 years. Lauren, has Wedgwood Christian Services said anything about this case? Yeah, Julia, they released a statement saying in part, quote, our thoughts and prayers are with the victims and their families of Glenn Fisher. Now that justice has been served, we hope the victims and their families can begin healing. Fisher will have to register as a sex offender for the rest of his life. His defense say they do plan on appealing the decision. Juliet, back to you. Lauren, thank you.